Hey guys, welcome back to BVV. Today I'm going to go over a demonstration video on how to make some hand sanitizer. Due to very popular demand, our uh, isopropyl alcohol here on the left, 99%, uh, is in short supply and demand across the entire country. Um, but we do have 200 proof ethanol available when we run out of this. Our 200 proof ethanol, its trade name is ethyl alcohol, so it is an alcohol. It's 200 proof because it is 100% alcohol. So what we're gonna do is, um, in light of not having this available, we're gonna go ahead and make uh, some hand sanitizer the DIY way. There's a lot of different recipes out there. Uh, I noticed on the internet, different videos. Today, I'm gonna do, be doing it pretty simple. I got 99% glycerin right here, and I'm going to be using my alcohol. I've got a little bottle here too that I can fill up. And I also have, uh, for scent, using some of our in-house terpenes, we got our delimonene. Again, we have a, a pure delimonene, so I'm gonna have like a citrus smell. I'll add a few drops of those to it. My mix today is 70% alcohol to 30% glycerin. Most of the over-the-counter bottles uh, are stating 70% alcohol content. The CDC website has mentioned that sanitizers need to be over 60% alcohol to be effective. I'm gonna go with a 70% like the over-the-counters because also these bottles aren't perfectly sealed. So one of my concerns is over the lifetime of the use of this bottle that the alcohol content could vapor off. Um, the bottle could heat up or expand. There's a lot of different things that is gonna cause that alcohol to slowly seep out. So I wanna make sure that I keep my level above what was recommended by the CDC website. All right, it's pretty simple. I got my glycerin here. We're just gonna add my alcohol has been pre-measured. Um, I have 120 milliliters here and 280 milliliters here, uh, which gives me my 70-30. Once it's full, you're gonna have to mix this for a few minutes to make sure that you actually have a good blend. And it's gonna take a few minutes for it to really go clear. Um, I would say, closer to about five minutes. It's actually gonna be pretty watery when it's completed. This recipe can also be conducted with aloe vera. I didn't have any aloe vera laying around the warehouse today, um, so I could do another video with the aloe vera. This'll have more of a watery consistency, uh, kind of similar to what in my uh, thoughts are comparing it to uh, hospital. A few moments later. Uh, another great thing you can do with this, um, it's used for sanitation. Uh, we, I, in the military years ago, this is what we used for a lot of things to help sanitize and clean different things uh, because it is pretty powerful. This could be cut with water as well, uh, so you could use it to wipe things down in lieu of not having anything that is, you know, antibacterial around. Okay, so and when I let it sit, you can see that it kind of clears up. And if you kind of get down low and you look at it, you'll be able to see some swirls in there with your own eyes. You won't be able to see it with the camera, but just letting it sit will allow it to slowly let that alcohol cut into that glycerin. I'm just gonna put five drops in there. The uh, terpene that I'm adding, terpenes are oil-based and alcohols dilute those oil-based terpenes into themselves. Ethanol is also used in perfumes and uh, colognes with those different terpenes or flavors. And that's exactly why when you spray them, sometimes they smell really alcoholy. They could use IPA as well, just depends on manufacture. I think we're good here. hoping for more of a, a gel consistency with this but not too worried about it more concerned about function and let's see what we got here actually this has got kind of a gel consistency to it and there we go thank you for watching